Yeah, Liam. Um, I, so, I saw like this one where these two Siamese twins, um, they were connected from like here down. Um, can they all, can each one of them, can they both control both arms or do they only control one? Well, that varies case to case. There has been cases where the twin on the right side controls the right arm and the right leg. The other twin gets the other two. And that is the most common with that style of twins. Liam? Okay, so with the dude, the little dude, he um, had like these legs coming out of his chest between the two. Yeah. Um, is that part of the other twin that like, he move his feet? That's a parasitic twin. So that twin is non-functioning. He's dead pretty much. And his body didn't develop fully, but he's still there. So as you can see, like his arms are very small compared to his, but he's still fused in his body. Oh, so he's getting blood and oxygen. Still, still growing. Any other? Yeah. Uh, who are the girls in the picture? I don't remember their names, but I know that they have their own TV show. Yeah, they TLC, they have their TV show. Pretty sure they just got married. Mm -hmm. And another lifestyle one we have, the term Siamese twins comes from possibly the most well-known, which for Aang and Shane from Siam, which is now known as Thailand. That's where the term comes from. These guys were 1850s. They toured around in a circus for a while, made some money. And then they had their own family. They would stay one guy with, they'd stay one week with the one guy's wife and kids, and then a week at the other. And Nick actually found a report on they had a special bed made. So the one guy could sleep next to his wife, and the other guy could sleep next to his wife and kids. Um, so would like the Cerberus be considered a like two joints? Like triplets, maybe? Like no Hades. Yeah. Yeah. Like no Hades is um how he has that one dog with the three heads. Would that be considered like conjoined triplets? Yeah, very possible. Because in ancient times, they had when these things came out, they had no clue what they were. Like Josh read the uh, centaur. Yeah. Many believe it could be a form of Siamese twins. Adriana? Did the boy with the tail survive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still living right now. You guys, you guys all had tails at one time, yeah. did you know that? Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you're developing, you all had tails and then you lost them. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you talk about that in grade 9. Is that called a tailbone? No. no. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's why it's called it, Leo. Oh. Oh. Anything else? I guess you still have this. Uh, any other questions out there? What about that question of you? Oh yeah, if you could be a type of no, if you were to have a parasitic twin on you, like this child, where would you have it? You have to have from the chest down sticking out of you somewhere. Where would you want? Um, I have it either like right here, like my back. So I have like a second set of legs. <laughs> so when it falls down, <laughs> <laughs> if they were functioning, I would have arms sticking out of my chest. Yeah. Well, they're not quite functioning. They're kind of just kind of just yeah. strapped together. Yeah. Yeah. Where else? Where else? You would have the whole whole chest coming out of your leg. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like back then? No, like more sideways. More sideways. <laughs> <laughs> like wrapped around the house. So it's definitely, definitely a burden. And he came from India, where modern science in his area wasn't that prevalent. Yeah, it's really boring there. So having it separated, that's not an option for most of these people. Like we read, it's more common in these third world countries where they don't have these hospitals or this medicine. On a, like it's, ah, like the little arm has like a little weird thing sticking out of that. What is yeah. that? Yeah, it's a little gross. You don't quite know. Go home, research it. All right. It's tricky to find this stuff. Yeah. Liam? Um, say it was a parasitic twin. Couldn't you just like tie a rope to cut off the circulation and just fall off? No. But, well, they still, they still have 
lot of bones in them and everything, right? It's yeah, but just you can like, do that to your finger, that's boring, isn't it? Liam knows this from trial and error. You might want to research that with Liam. Well, we wanted to do a zoo project and go the easy way, but Mr. Allison is here. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Two controls, what half? And we just started wondering, and then he wouldn't let us do the zoo project, so we decided to do this. And it turned out a lot better than we expected. So, who would go to zoo? <laughs> we don't it's, know. It's never happened. It happened in a TV show, and they just threw them both in the slime. <laughs> <laughs> what show is this? Someone watching it. Emily? I don't know. Um, do you think maybe in some cultures, like if a joint twin was born like they'd be shunned by society in some culture out there? Yeah, I think that's present in our own culture. Yeah. Like, you look in the pamphlet, we have a picture of the twins conjoined two separate heads. And, you know, first look, you kind of, if you were to see a conjoined twin just walking into school, admittedly, I would take a second look. I know everyone would, because they're not that common, but... I mean, over time, you do learn to accept them more. But for sure, they're more accepted in other cultures than else. Is that it? Is it not? Hands up. Yeah. 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 Very interactive. Very interactive. Yeah, that's a huge part. Uh, the game gets you into it right off the start, right? Plus the visual up top and your pamphlet as well, things that go back and forth about, uh, with. There's multiple things that they're, they're using to get your attention until you learn it. Patricia? All of their information was relevant and they had a lot of history. Yeah. Sam? Very original. Yeah, that's a big one. Very original is good. All on topic. All on topic. Absolutely. How about this? Critical thinking. Was there critical thinking going on in this project? Yeah, like we said, there was a, a zoo project that is looking up zoos and finding the H grade sevens and eights. You guys have done that before grade seven, right? Not necessarily the same type of project in which they chose, right? How about concluding statement? Was it there? Yeah. So, what was your conclusion overall? Kind of overall, the conjoined twins are just an amazing mutation in nature, and scientists are slowly learning uh, how to deal with them. And Awesome. So a clear concluding statement is present here, right? So think about your projects now. Was there a clear concluding statement? And the only way you get to that clear conclusion is to have that critical thinking or hypothesis or big question to start, right? So on your next projects, you got to kind of think, okay, this is what we're trying to get to. The one thing that these guys did that a lot of, pe a lot of people out there might not have done is that they s simply went through the rubric, but section by section and went... Okay, how do I get from a three to a four? What exactly does Mr. Allison want here? And I know a lot of people kind of did that for one day, but then forgot about this. And the reason why they got 100% on this is that they made sure all the boxes were checked off. Okay, so things to think about on your next projects that are going to start right away, okay? Thanks, guys.